I really dislike doing some of these VOD reviews on stream because I keep it, I try to do it as fast as possible so I can go through it. But realistically, to look at each fight and specifically see exactly why a team fight is occurring and who's fucking up and doing this and that takes much longer in the depth than which I'm going in because I'm missing a lot of big stuff. So keep that in mind. All right. Stop the payload. The boombox started as Hanzo. He sonic the train to make sure there's no forward hold. Jokes on you, forward hold goes in the tunnel. The hero goes 10% of the speed. When I did VOD reviews with Hero, I was slower than Arrow a lot of time, I think. Like my personal VOD reviews were a lot slower than Arrow's. How long did my VOD reviews take for tournaments? When I personally did VOD reviews, I would spend three to four hours. Sometimes two plus hours per map, depending on if it was that important. Like that, that was me personally doing VOD reviews though. Um, when it was team VOD reviews, people would do all the work beforehand, bring it in and show you exactly what was happening and the important things that you needed to know. Yeah, so anyway, let's just talk about this, which is, UK is on defense, so it looks like. We're all right here. We're doing goats. United States is playing tanks. Wait, Round defense, shot. offense? I'm stupid. I'm reverse chat. I'm blind as fuck. Taking off. Why? Round How did this shot. happen? This is so funny to me. <laughs> I was literally autopiloting because I just saw defense run out of tunnel and then I was sitting there talking about the previous match for two minutes straight and somehow USA ended up behind the payload and they were just over there and I'm sitting there like what the fuck I just want to look at this again what happened here what did I miss hey, watch 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 Five, four. Three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Okay, okay. Stop the payload. USA's defense, UK is offense. They're sitting over here. UK swaps. We do some swap Renos. All right, all right. UK taking high ground. United States stuck on train. Okay. So I have a question. Why don't we just do a loop de loop right now? Why do. It looks like it's what U.S. wants to do. I want the U.S.A. to run up train right now. I want U.S.A. to run up train right now because I want them to push boombox. Think about it. If they don't push boombox, they actually are fucked. Boombox has high ground. What, are the, what is U.S.A. going to do? Just think about it. Ignore the tank fight. Okay, boombox just drop. Because, well... I mean, the cart's getting a little bit closer now. I don't fucking know, but... This is stupid. I don't... Okay, so here's here's what I don't understand. This is why I said like they should just go high ground looking for boot box. Okay, if you are running a Moira Lucio comp and the other team is running a Zen Lucio comp and you're playing Goat's Mirror, one team has a Zen, the other team has a Moira, right? The Zen team is going to fuck you up. Which means... Boombox we just said in chat, don't encourage people to push me things. That's what I'm talking about, though, is like if the Moira team doesn't somehow punish the Zen or they need to like. They have superior short term healing, they will lose the long term fight. They need to use something with it, right? 
So either they need to speed boost, rush this. Uh, personally, I think they just wrap them again. They just go straight up top to save. Okay, fuck it. They have high ground. Boombox on high ground. How do we kill Boombox? We can't do anything. The, the Zen's going to kill us. We're going to lose this fight. Just rotate. Just do a full 360 on them. Push back Boombox. Force them back with his team. And then just speed boost on them. Do whatever you want. That's, that's what I think. It'd be fun. Also, again, because there are pro players in chat. This is not my typical VOD reviews. This, I'm doing like a speed run VOD review to talk about stuff, hopefully in a semi-educational way. I do not, I'm not going in depth as much as I could. So I apologize if I'm not doing you justice and I'm calling you garbage in a situation because I'm not appropriately looking at the entire game. And I apologize for that. The fuck happened here? One sec. All right. What the fuck? How how does he hit this Brigida stun? I'm so curious right now. Okay, never mind. He doesn't. Does he? Does that hit him? No, it doesn't. Wait. How's that work? Did he just drop shield? Are replays perfectly accurate? Yeah, he was just jumping back. That's just the biggest. Okay. That's, that's just, dude. Who, who waltz that as fusion? Who the, he sees Brig coming, so he backs up and then gets stunned anyway. I mean. Here's the fundamental issue then, right? If that if that's your reasoning, right? Watch. So he sees Brigida and he tries to jump back, like jump shield back. Well, then Fusions is already hitting the perfect timing and Fusions is going for it early. So you're still fucked. No matter what, you're fucked. Here's the fundamental problem. Here, I'm Muma. What? Why is my Zarya in front of me? Because the core of the issue is Muma's getting mind gamed here, right? He's trying to jump back so he can avoid the fucking Super Saiyan Brigida running in at him to stun him. And Fusions is shattering early, so even if he tries to avoid the stun by jump shielding backwards, he gets stunned by the shatter, which is what happens, right? That even if he doesn't, Brigida's coming, Brigida's coming, and you're still going to get one shot here, and your Zarya is not prepared to shield you. So you're still dead. The only situation, and this is what I... So, here you go. Some forbidden knowledge for you guys here. Space should body block for Muma in this scenario. As D.Va, we on Dallas Fuel did this a lot, where the D.Va would intentionally tank for the Reinhardt versus Brigida because you're so thick as D.Va that let's say you burn Zarya team shield on your Rhine, right? And you know that that fucking Brigida shatter combo is coming. And if you have goats, send your thick diva to just go camp on your Rhine. That's what, that's what we do sometimes. And I'm very surprised that more teams aren't doing it here in World Cup. Because it's the it's like what else are you gonna do you all you need to do is stop the stun if the diva gets stunned who cares anyway they'll get fucked all right some cool stuff happened in the middle of that like they beat it in space a to grab but they're all still gonna die like I, I, like all this shit's happening, I just don't I care about. Yes, but I hear someone explaining You're not wrong, vile guy. I appreciate the ten. This meta that we are talking about is not very FPS dependent, is it, chat?
All right, let's see what we got here now. Let's see what we have here. So this this whole series of events, uh, I don't think USA like obviously they expended a lot of volts to try and win that fight, and it doesn't look like UK needed to burn it in response to dominate, right? I mean, just look at the ults. Apparently, I don't know. Did they swap? Or were they still running Moira during the middle of that? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But in any case, I know they beat it. I know they used Diva Bomb. And I don't know if this is a second or first grab. And I'm pretty sure they used Shatter during all that time period, right? And so during that time period, I'm pretty sure Rocka swapped from Moira to Zen. And that's why I don't think they used Zen ult during that fight, unless I wasn't paying attention. But during, anyway, so they used a bunch of ults. UK didn't have to burn those ults in response to keep the fight going. And so now... Watch. I heard a speed boost. I heard a speed boost. There it is. All right, let's see what's going on. Sinatra shield Zachary. They are running into fusions. Right? Moom is coming off the top rope. What is about to happen? Grav in response. They trance. Sinatra dies. <laughs> Big slam. They all try... I don't even know what's really happening. Either way, big slam. Ah. You know, for Sinatra, because he's personal. Well, I mean, the moment the moment a Zarya uses self-shield, you're all just going to get ran at. If you're a Zarya, they just, they just run at you, they're going to kill you. Seagull Sinatra is the problem. I mean, so I don't like saying individuals are the problem because I'm not there present in team scrims or this or that. I can tell you that the synergy between United States GOATS comp versus UKs is a lot less. Like they seem a lot less comfortable compared to UK on GOATS. I can tell you that right now. Okay, so what they swapped to? They finally went something that's not GOATS. So now they have... Ham and Diva, they do swaps, they go Farah, Doomfist. UK is still full goats. So here's the problem when you start swapping, right? They swapped, they're taking end of checkpoint fight. UK has a lot of ults. Usually, so usually how these swaps work out, chat. Okay, let me just show you. In general, you do not want to equalize ults. Okay, how do I put this? Let's say you're over here, right? And you, and you get stomped, blah, blah. You'd want to swap now, right? Because now you take this fight, 6v6, with your... Let's say you swap now, right? And you take this first fight here with whatever new heroes they have. Uh, Hammond, Farah, Doomfist, whatever. And then you're probably going to lose this fight because they have a bunch of ults. Right? And then now you get to this fight where you have spawn advantage because you're closer to the checkpoint but hopefully they don't have a massive ult advantage to instantly win out versus your spawn advantage plus team comp advantage. That's usually how this works out on the vast majority of payload maps. And that's why you see people swap after the first checkpoint. But now they swapped after the, first, the second checkpoint first fight. And not only that, they did it with a lot of tanks. So now, just chat, just look up. One, two, three, three ults. See any ults? Turns out this ults are pretty important in this game. That's a scary pin, 10% health. See, it exploded. That beat is late. That should have saved fusions. Ike's getting blown up. Ooh, big grab. That is such a well placed Diva Bomb, by the way. Max is doing pretty well. Chat, do you notice stuff like this? Even though Fusion's dead, they messed up the ults instantly. They just they just have so many. Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter if you're fucking up? No. Because it's just ults are pretty good in Overwatch, man. I, they, we'll see if they hold this or not. I don't think they will. Oh. 
Literally, they just walked in, they just spam Qs until they won. Up, apply some move. I see people's in chat. I will say this again. Uh, I apologize. These VOD reviews I'm doing are semi fast. They're just for streaming, kind of watching the games, having fun, talking about a little bit of the depth. They're not completely in depth, so I am wrong about many things. And so if I am wrong about a bunch of stuff and I call you out incorrectly, I apologize. <laughs> that is such a good combo. The one, two, the space diva bomb, the Muma knockup. Boom. Outside, they spawn camp a little bit, they run back. Good shit. There. Let's look at ults. Again, USA doing pretty well. Now they have some more ults for this fight. They can nano straight in. Who they nano? Sinatra. Looks like it's probably also to save him so he doesn't explode, but he does have Doomfist ult, so we'll see. You guys tank it. He's in. Rip. That's eh, still fine. I think it's fine. I thought it was fine. It's goats, though. Goats. It's just fucking goats. It's fucking goats, dude. They just tank. They just tank everything. They just don't care. They just don't care. They just go all in. They don't stop. Meteor, He's in. Strike. Meteor strike. They're just in. Look at much damage. They're doing so much damage. It's disgusting. They're just in. Much damage. He D Max the Diva with that one, right? That's good. He even gave Sinatra a team shield there, I think. And he still exploded. Or wait. Just kidding. It's a. Lucio stole it. I was wondering. Okay, okay. Uh, poor guy. Anyway, so that's why Sinatra blows up coming out of his ult. Because I looks like... Wait, I want to watch this from Zachary's POV. Watch, 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 watch. Okay, so first team shield here. Saves Sinatra, gets Nano. Right? Fight commences. Zachary pushes the front, right? I heard the incoming. All right, watch. Wait for it. Oh, no, you just... He, he just really fucked up. All right, never mind. He was so close to killing that Zarya. One HP Zarya. Oh my god, dude. That's... How much health did he have? 16 HP! Oh no. And that whole time, it's just like, man... Mikey should have died for that. That's rough, man. Because now it gets really bad when you lose control and you were playing the anti goats cop because it's like, okay, now they have to swap. Because the moment you get to this area, it's good fucking luck, dude, trying to play Hammond in this area. Versus this comp, like, yeah, you could play truck, I guess, but that's why they instantly swap, right? All right, one sec. Someone asked 500 bits. First off, there have been so many resubs and donations and everything I haven't been reading because I've been trying to focus on the game. Thank you so much for all the support, particularly after coming back from being sick and not streaming for a couple weeks. I just thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you guys enjoy the content. He says, and I will expose myself as a plat play by him, but I have a question. Why does no one run Reaper against goats? You have to ask the pros, but in my head, there's just too many tanks for Reaper to counter. And once they get armor and stuff, like it, it kind of works, particularly with nano and stuff. It's just, I don't know. It's weird. I personally don't really know because for me, 
on an individual level when i was in overwatch league playing against these comps we would just play junkrat reaper or other crazy stuff and we would just get ults every fight particularly with uh junkrat ult and or fair ult and stuff but Farah got kind of tweaked so she does less overall i don't know i honestly don't know i'm not in scrims i'm just kind of trying to make big like stuff the real thing i is that it's hard to play against goats as reaper because it's like so much of it comes down to all these weird stuns. Maybe a team could play around it with Reaper. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Anyway. The fuck happened? Let's watch. All right, so we got... We have USA control. Naturally. Team USA on USA truck. Zuma's here, Zachary's here. He's discorded, that's not good. He's gonna, yeah, he's a little... They speed boost, he immediately backs up a little bit. Okay. I know who they want. Chat, did you see Zachary use self-shield earlier? Because I did. They don't give a fuck about Muma. They're going straight for Zach. Because they know Zach saw his team shield, so blowing up Muma's hard. Going for him, though, you saw that, right? Look at how fast their target swap. They're not... Watch, okay. You don't... Just watch... We'll watch it 25%. I want to show you. Because Muma's like, oh shit, I'm discorded. There might be going for me straight up. Fusions is swinging. But look at Kib. Who's Kib looking at? He doesn't give a shit. Kib's going straight for Zach. The Discord's out. Discord's in. They're swinging, but he's only swinging as he runs by. It's like, hello. Dead. Rough. She pops ult. Now you're in the back lane. You have ult. These tanks can sustain in the back lane because she has ult. Zarya got fucking deleted, dude. That's just how it is. You got deleted. And now once Zarya's down, well, Zarya's the DPS carry too of a GOATS comp, right? Mikey's still up. He's going to carry this fight in the long run because he's, he's going to be alive. How much energy? He might not even have that much. Okay, he's got 60. Right, and now it's like he's gonna get a grab. Like, we'll just watch this from Mikey's POV right now. That's that. Chat, that entire fight was determined by one Zarya self shield. If you use Zarya self shield, instantly speed boost, run and stun one shot. Deleted, fight over. That's just, that's just how it is. That's how unforgiving Overwatch is at a high level. So should he not use self-shield? I'm confused. In that scenario, because he used self-shield for energy. And yeah, he got blown the fuck up. I don't, I don't know what else he could have done. But yeah, he, he just got focused. They saw him without self-shield, so they blew him up. And also, uh, just for fun, let's look at how much percentage Z uh, Zachary had at towards the end of this. Before, before the end of the game. Died with 95%. They focused him, blew him up. They didn't even get the grab while the UK got their grab. Seagull, so wouldn't he have died even with self-shield? That was insane damage. No, he could tank it. Because... It's only insane damage because he was discorded. The self shield purges the discord. It's more effective HP than just 200 too. Because then he has to get re-discorded after the self shield. Ready. Ready okay, let's watch. To go for rocket landed and aid, do you think Zach could have lived? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Either way though, when that initiation starts, you know where Smex is staring, right? Like that whole initiation, right? So that's between the, you know, Ryan, the Brigida, they're running straight at the enemies. All right. I assume they had a diva, right? Within that comp. That's typically the goats comp has a diva. The goats, the, the typical goats comp has a diva. I, I'm not hundred percent sure. And the diva would be staring at the Ana so he can't get the mate. He can't have a nade. He would just literally just hold, just hold it on him. That's what's up, Nick. Zigol so should Muma back straight up to help the tank camera join to Zach. 
how does he, he did. It's just, what is he supposed to do about it? Right? Like he got self shielded. He swung at the enemy Ryan. The Ryan walked past him into his Zarya. He held left click the whole time to, to try and peel. There's nothing more movement can do in that situation. He's holding left click. All right, so let's watch, let's watch this view. Speed boost from God, I hate goat's mirrors. So here's the interesting one is it's a goat's mirror, but they always the, the UK chooses to run quad tank instead of the Brigida with Moira Lucio. It's kind of goats. I don't know. It's weirder goats, isn't it? Pin, pin, counter pin. I don't know if I if I would break this down really right, maybe I could figure out the exact reasons why they run quad instead of goats. I wish they were just boombox. If you're in chat, just tell me forehead. Thanks. Yeah, I saw that one coming. He he he. It's the same exact thing as earlier, right? He team he self shields. And then just gets blown up. Boombox tries the same moral, can't do it in time. Hoggle. Boom. That ult doesn't even hit them because they're in the air or something, I guess. It doesn't do anything. What the hell? You guys just see that from fusions? Wait, 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 wait. So now Brigida stun is used, right? So he can slam. They're too far in the air because they got booped by Cruz. So they jump over the shatter. How unfortunate is that? Let's watch that one more time. Let's watch it from Cruz's POV. I'm actually so curious what he sees. This must be so funny. Wait for it. It'll be the next boot right here. Because remember, Cruz just wants them to die. He's just running in. Wait, Boombox answered? Wait, what did Boombox say? Wait, wait, first, Boombox, watch Cruz throw. Not intentionally, it's just funny. Four, four tank, good to delay point, just you're not going to win versus goats. You stall them and you get three, three fights in four minutes. Oh, that makes a lot of sense because Hog heals like crazy and the Hoggle will feel like fuck Hoggle. If they're playing goats and a Hoggle, that's super annoying. Okay, watch, watch, watch Cruz throw. It's not, a, it's not actually throwing, by the way, chat. He's, he's not, it's just very unlucky. It's really funny, though. Oh, it's so unlucky. And then, and then because of that, they trance and then they're in the fight. Oh, that's sad. Well, I mean, they're, they're probably going to trance it anyway, right? It was only, I think, unless the Zen was a part of it. I don't know. I, my brain's off. Sad boys. All right, so that's the one fight. And you know what? Boombox is right. Look, two. it took a minute and a half off the clock, and they're just now getting here, right? And now they swap to a normal comp, and they get their normal two fights here, I think. And see, usually with normal metas, it actually gets pretty annoying because you want retaking is really difficult. But retaking, if you have goats, is like, who cares? You just speed through, speed through a choke. You all have enough heals. You just go wherever the fuck you want. It's not like any of you care about positioning because you're all six basically together. The only person who cares about positioning is Boombox. And where's Boombox going? That's the only hard part for him, probably, right? I don't know. So where do they go? They take over bottom left. This way they take over the high ground. And they can leave Boombox up there with Cruz. And that way the D.Va, hopefully with Cruz. You see Kib is kind of bodyguarding. Boombox too. 
He's worried about the diva rushing him. But anyway, Fusions has dropped the points. Now the fight's is about to start. So first things first. This is really bad, I think. Where's the team shield for Fusions? All right. From Mikey. Does he not have it? No, he used it right there. Okay, yeah. So that's why Muma doesn't... I didn't see it real quick. That's my bad. Muma doesn't shatter with the stun combo because he sees the team shield. They're trying to force it out. And who would who would he slam in that spree would be? Like if he got baited, right? This guy would self-shield. Smacks would be behind the wall. It's really actually a good bait by UK and good on Muma for not following for it. No, good on him. But they use team shield chat. You know what that means? They don't they don't have they can't save him. They can't save him chat. So what do they do? Is pop Brigitte ult, speed boost, rush him down. What he can't take it. We know he can't take it. Because Fusions just got hit with a team shield from Mikey and the heal from Begita. There's nothing he can do. He's dead. Ah. Hell, we're even gonna beat just a BBM, I guess. B was to save Sinatra. I didn't even see it. I was look. You know what? We could say that was to save Sinatra all you want, chat, so they would have grabbed this fight. And that's the completely logical, probably true choice. But we call it the BMB, because that's what's that's what's up. Big grab. That's gonna let him cap. Hey look, that beat to save Sinatra won him this fight for free because they got checkpoint. Isn't that cool? Seagull, why isn't the Zen focused in Zen Goats? It seems like he always lives late into the fight. Okay, let me show you, like, the fight here, right? The fight takes place here. The Zen's up here. How do you get to him? You literally can't. If you try and get to him, you all die. That's just how it is. All right, all right, let's see what we got. I like this from Team USA. They're like, fuck it, let's just camp the door. Everyone roll out. They roll out. They're all on high ground. They're all chilling. I don't think this works. I'm very confident this is not going to work. I'm so confident this is not going to work. You want to know why? Because Cruz can just boop you off. And then UK can just go to point. Hello? This this was the most NA thing I've ever seen. They, they could just walk by you. You both have Lucio. You're not doing anything. Into the iris. Oh my god. Muma tilted his shield just a little bit, and I think it killed Sinatra. Let me see this one more time. That's actually a pretty cool shatter because it does stop the diva bomb. But watch this. Does it actually tilt and where's Sinatra in this? No, he can't. He can't. Sinatra's too far forward. He was trying to catch Sinatra with it, but he couldn't. Okay, that sucks. He's on top of the cart because if it wasn't on the cart, he probably would have been fine. It's not that it's it's just Sinatra too far away. Muma couldn't save him, but he tried. That just sucks, man. If that if that cart wasn't there. It was so close. He could have saved Sinatra. I think it was a really nice try by Muma. Bacchus gets pinned in trance. Zachary goes. They're just screwed now. They're just down. Like the moment you're down one one tank, you're probably gonna snowball. Chat still trying to blame Muma. Weird champ. Yeah. Like I was saying earlier, uh, the Overwatch community doesn't have many objective ways, but now we kind of do to actually look at players. And so before it was just like, dude, if you had one pop off moment on camera, you're the best player in the game. If you don't, you're just NA as fuck. And that's just how it was. And you didn't know when the camera was on you, you get that one shot and it doesn't matter how good you are outside of that. And that's just how Overwatch is. I'm very cynical about it. Time to read. 
my APM. But now we have replays. So now hopefully it's a little more educated. Power to forward shield. Okay, I heard two amps. So everyone's speed amping. So Muma dropped off, but like his team is did not. So this is a little bit awkward. This is real awkward for poor Muma right now. So we get the counter stun on fusions. It's just, we don't have, all right, this is perfect. Not perfect. We're, I mean, USA is going to lose, but uh, they use, they stack both support ults. It's good. Now USA is just AFK holding on. And somehow UK gets zero kills with both support ults out, plus Brigitte ult. So UK used every support ult. They used Lucio, Zen, and Brigida, and they got zero kills. And then I pressed it first, true that boombox, true that. And then Zach says, okay, I'm just going to press Q and we're just going to run at him. So, hey, look, the death ball begins. He presses Q, he runs at him. Fusions tries to hit a big slam. But look, Sinatra is ready. Self shield, team shield on Moomba in case of a stun by Kib. Everything was good. Everything was good. Block the stun combo. Counter, counter slam from big Moomba. Stuns out the Zen. Can't follow up on it though, which sucks, but he can't because if he charges it, he dies. Tries to get out, dies. It's okay. Muma did his job. Because they're going to win this fight. And now, look at this next fight. One, two, three, four ults from USA. Not many ults from UK right now. So it's looking pretty good for USA to get the second checkpoint for this fight because. And this is what I've said a lot. I try and say this a lot is if you if you're an end of checkpoint fight on a payload map, right? You need ults to break, break it in one. You need like a, a decisive fight. You need ults, a lot of ults to make a decisive fight, because if you can't. Overwatch is built so that every game, every map is a little 2 CP where you get towards the end of this checkpoint. Suddenly you're in a 2 CP map. You have to kill him 20 times unless you kill him all at once. All right. So that's why it's so hard to it, just go look at it. Hollywood second point. Very difficult to take near the end, right? Gibraltar near the end. Hard to take, isn't it? Uh, Route 66. Isn't it hard to take near the end of the second point? Uh, what am I missing here? Hollywood also near the end of second point. What, what's the common denominator in all of these points? Rialto second point near the end. It's very common. Every single map is 2 CP. You can't argue with me on this chat. It's just Overwatch. I said Hollywood twice. Okay. It happens. All right. So what happened to, to USA to get pushed back by the UK here? I was too busy talking. Let's watch. So USA is here. They're chilling. We have many ultimate Renos. The UK has one combo, just Diva Bomb Zarya ult. They're like, holy crap, we gotta push these buttons fast. That's I'm all going. we got. So they, they just fucking throw that shit at Muma. And they throw that other shit at Muma. And Muma is, Muma's dead. It sucks to be a main tank right now. Holy shit. So Muma's dead, and now everyone has to run because they're all dead. And now the UK and just run at them. There's not much they can do about it. Unless there's a bomb in his Ariel of our own. Pass into the iris. Many cues, many cues going on. Everyone's pushing all the buttons. Just keep pushing the buttons. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I love my cues. You know, that's basically how we play right now. Everyone's press cues. No one gets a kill. And now look, chat, we've pressed enough cues so that the fight has stalled long enough so that Muma can play the game again. He's back. Oh, what do you know? Something happened. They're actually worth playing the game and I missed it. Let me watch. All right, so we're all pressing Q. Zachary's got his Q up. 
So Zachary moves at the speed of light with uh, speed boost. He's going in. The Super Saiyan immediately finds Smex with space. He actually fucked the bash. Always, as Brigida, hold the bash until they start shifting so that way they can't escape. In any case, they blow up poor Smex. Smex is dead. Well, now they can push in. Push. They're pushing the front line. Moom is a little bit scary. He's discorded. Don't worry. Zachary's here. Turns out Brigida's pretty good. Turns out Space, is, Space sees blood. He sees two people at half HP. Space is in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But Cruz hits a, a fat beat. Now looks like we get to reset for a minute. Now Space loses his mech because he got baited into chasing low HP targets. Cruz hits a fat beat. Space loses his mech. Because we hit the fat beat, we also hit it on a baby Smex who gets his mech back. Suddenly the tables have turned. It's a 6v5. And now here comes a big slam. How fast the tables turn, chat. How fast the tables turn. You know where USA fucked up here, chat? Over here, two minutes ago, when they used all these cues. You just don't push those cues, you just back up. You take a new fight, and then you take a fight with a bunch of cues. You just, you just gotta... You shouldn't have used these cues over here. You should have, you should have pushed them over here. You move those cues, push them from over there, and push them from to there, dude. That's all you gotta do. That's it. Instead, they used all those cues over there, and now when they push these cues, they didn't have the responsive cues. You know, they used the cues over there, and now the cues over here, they lost. All right? Think about it. All right? Chat, how many cues were used right here? How many cues were used over here? Two cues used. Zero cues used. Two Qs to zero Qs. It's a two minus two Qs. It, it's over. All right, it's over. Now over here. Mini Qs. Mini Qs. Qs cancel the Qs. There's not enough Q advantage. It's over. Seek, are you high? Yeah, I'm high on Overwatch, chat. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. USA. Like, oh. Oh, guys. Guys, the cart's are over here. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, I got the perfect plan. The cart, the cart's here. We're, we're over here. It's a straight line. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just a straight line. Guys, why the fuck did you walk through the small one by one door into a fucking grab? Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? It didn't even matter. There's just so many cues. There's just so many cues. All right, one sec. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right, all right. Ignore the music. It's not overtime. We're like, Sinatra's like, oh shit, we better get out of the choke, boys. Sinatra walks in. He's like, oh fuck, so, oh no. This is where Sinatra. He, you know, it's like. He fucked up, boys. <laughs> he's, he's a goner, boys. And so, turns out, all of them are queued, right? But it's okay, because they got queued together inside the choke. Which means, the UK is too scared to enter into the choke to kill them, right? And so Sinatra, he grabbed his own team. It's, it's rough, but ignore that, ignore that. Now, UK decides to push into the enemy team. You're like, yeah, hey, just lock him in at the choke. Look, Kib was like, hey, I'll press my Q. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm smashing that button. I'm pressing my Q. You know, he's like, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm gonna get in there. So, you know, they push the Brigida button. Everyone has a lot of a lot of thickness all of a sudden. They're like, yeah, yeah, let's just run in there. Yeah, so they, they run in there. They start holding the left clicks, right? Right? Look at this. Kib's got his aura up. They all start hitting the left clicks. Oh, 
Oh no, what's that? You lined up? Oh, Big Daddy Moom is here. Big slam. It's utterly gargantuan. But what's that? Kib has his, his Q on? Oh no. I'm sorry, did you think you're going to kill anyone after your five man slam? Oh, I'm sorry. Space comes in with his ult. Oh, big bomb. Oh wait, comes in a little bit too slow. Because look, Boombox presses Q. He's got a shield. Mikey's got a shield. Everyone's got a shield. No one could die, this is fine. Kib's got a shield. Everything's fine, but Zach. Zachary's like, wait, 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 I got my Q. I got my Q. I'm in. I'm in. So Zachary's in. Zachary's in, right? But does it matter? No, because this guy also pressed his Q. So no one takes damage. Get this. So Zachary's sitting here like, oh, fuck. For once, as a Brigida. Oh, pain champ. Anyway. As, for once, she might actually die pressing Q because so many people are looking at her. Maybe. Nope, 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 because Rock has pressed his Q. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Sorry, sorry. Spoke a little too soon. No kills were allowed here. But don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Here we go. Oh, that was actually so close to a pin because now the, U the United States was like, wait, guys, maybe we shouldn't sit in this choke. Let's just go out this side. So they go out this side, which sets up Muma for the flank pin, which is totally fine because everyone's pressed their cues. People might actually be able to die. Why do you even follow Overwatch if you hate ult so much lol? Because it's fun. It's funny, actually. I could poke fun at the game. Don't worry about it. Don't don't get don't get butt hurt. Just play the game, spam forehead and enjoy it. All right now look now watch watch what do we got we got the flank pin big pin big damage zach reason looks not looking good for fusions moth says maybe i should beat for muma oops muma goes down a little bit too early for his q to save him unlucky it's okay though because now we get to rush down fusions fusions is dead both main tanks down zachary also killed Cruz somewhere in there. Cruz was must have been trying to peel for poor fusions. Oh, we got a two kill advantage. 30 seconds later, we finally got some kills in our team fight, boys. It's okay. Let's just all smack each other. You're gonna you're going down next. Alright. USA won. We got this fight, boys. Every fight's a marathon in this meta, you know? I'm going to poke fun at how much how much this meta is silly. All I want, because I don't... See, the nice thing, chat, is when I was a pro player, I had to suck it up and not care, and you just ignore it, right? You just ignore it. How the state of the meta or anything like that, because it's not your job to like it. It's your job to win at it, okay? But now I'm a streamer, so now I get to sit here and just be like, wow, this is really silly, and I get to point out how silly it is, and it's okay. All right, Sinatra just used self-shield. Boombox puts a Discord on him. Are we about to see a speed boost engage? They're thinking about it. Moth had to burn heal amp for him so he didn't die. So now here's an issue. Moth has to use heal amp. Pretty sure Cruz has a speed amp still available. Regardless, big Muma goes for a shatter. Doesn't look like it was set up or anything. I don't see where Zachary is. Looks like Zachary died, maybe trying to go for it. In any case, they kite out the engage. Zachary dies. No stun for the slam. It explodes. Stun blocked. Feels bad, man. Now Fusions has a shatter, and he's just walking in. He knows that Moom is really weak, and he has a health advantage. He's going to swing at him. Who's going to stop him? Stun. Stun onto Mooma. Actually kills him. And here comes the big slam. One, two, is it potentially three stunned? Rockus is stunned. And he was 97 to trance. Hell, it looks like he went melee range to so even try and get a kickoff so that way he can get the Zen. He had a Zen ult to save the day, but he couldn't. 
but that fight's over. Seagull Cruz also booped Muma so Fusion get the slam. Well, the big one was the stun. He was still stunned no matter what, and the stun was uh, hit him to kill him. All right, so now we're back. Oh, what's this? Mikey was hiding around the corner. Did you throw a grab? Oh, he went literally underneath Space's feet to, to just throw the DM straight in. Oh, now they're all stunned and CC'd. Here comes the Deaver Bomb. Didn't quite make it through the shield, so Fusion's going to try and pin Muma to make a blow up. Oh, he got it. Perfect timing from Fusions. No, self-shield, self-shield, so they do tank the, the grab, and I believe these, one of them maybe, was around the corner. So big pin out of fusions to get that bomb to engage. So now, now we're in a really careful, dangerous position because UK can basically spawn camp. They're basically spawn camping now, and they have to touch cart. So, so space is going to touch cart, right? So space has to push cart and touch it. So what does UK do? Speed boost, run out the front, engage 6v5. You know at least one guy has to touch cart or they lose, right? So let's see what we get here. Fusions, just about to have another shatter. They have a lot of ults. Kib's got ults. Let's see what happens here. Fusions, instantly get shatter. One, two, three hits out of that, right? Get shatter. Throws a fire strike for good measure. They get a beat. Sinatra died during all that. Looks like he got split from the main core, focused down by Kib. And one of the others, probably the Zen Discord. Smex is shooting space on point. He has a beat. So Smex can actually go tunnel space for the rest of this fight and even kill. And now for the front line, Kib and Fusions have Shatter. Mikey did just use Team Shield, which is a little bit dangerous. But here's the problem. Since Sinatra is dead, Muma has no Team Shield to save him if Kib has a stun off cooldown. Does Kib have a stun off cooldown? Six seconds. So a little bit he will. So let's just watch. See what happens. That's a big sleep. That was almost a game-changing sleep. Okay. Zachary pops ult. They walk at, at UK. But here's the dangerous part, right? Traditionally, Brigida ult lets your tanks walk at the other tanks, and it's okay, right? And that's usually fine. But they still have their stun combo at any time on Muma, and it doesn't matter how much health you have in that situation. Like, it's going to be dangerous, right? I think it's coming right now, probably. Yep. <laughs> Stun, shatter, boom. Where is Sinatra at? Well, Sinatra's still dead because he died earlier here, right? So they got a little bit too over eager with the Brigido. Now they're all blown the fuck up. Beautiful timing, beautiful execution. They're all fucked. Victory. UK wins. That's crazy, man. UK is pretty damn good at GOATs.